Hey, what's up guys? Let's go. In this video, I'm going to show you how to buy a Lightroom and how to subscribe to it actually. The last perpetual license of Lightroom that you can buy outright was Lightroom 6 back in 2015. So unfortunately, these days you have to get a Adobe Creative Cloud account and subscribe to one of the subscription models that include Lightroom. The Lightroom starts at $9.99 US per month, but depending on which country you're located in, you might see a different currency. And depending on the cost of living in the country, you might get a cheaper price for Lightroom or some of the other membership or subscription plans that Adobe offers. And now I'll just go to the photography plans that are available with the Lightroom. So this is the main plan that Adobe promotes, the All Apps plan. If you're only using a Lightroom or for, or if you're only interested in photography, you don't need this. I do have the Creative Cloud All Apps plan because I use uh, Premiere Pro as well as Illustrator in addition to other software. But anyways, here are the different type of photography plans that include Lightroom. And the main plan that you want to go for that you want to uh, choose is this photography plan that includes Lightroom, Lightroom Classic, and uh, Photoshop. Photoshop is the king of photo editing in my opinion because, because it can do advanced edits, but we won't be discussing that in this course. However, Lightroom and Lightroom Classic are the main uh, Lightroom apps that Adobe offers, but uh, we'll be looking at and I'll be teaching Lightroom Classic in these uh, tutorials. I'll talk about the difference between Lightroom or the cloud-based version of Lightroom and uh, Lightroom Classic in a separate uh, video. And one thing I want to discuss is the cloud storage. I don't recommend getting cloud storage through Adobe or the Creative Cloud plan just because it's, it's expensive and there's cheaper plans like with Sync or uh, pCloud. pCloud has uh, lifetime plans for cloud storage Personally, I use Dropbox right now for cloud storage, but I use that for syncing and backing up different type of applications for web development and WordPress. So you don't need to get Dropbox, even though it is widely used, but it is a little bit more expensive than a Sync and a pCloud. I'll put links in the, in the description. And another thing is with these Creative Cloud plans, as I was discussing, no one likes paying for a subscription model and you can't buy a perpetual license. So if you want to get Lightroom for free, there is a way to do it. I advise against it. I'll tell you why in a minute. But with these Creative Cloud applications or memberships, uh, as well as the photography plan and the all apps plan, you can have two installations or two instances of Lightroom. So if you have a friend that already has a plan, you can technically use their account to use Lightroom for free. I don't advise it just because it's against the photography, it's against the against Adobe's end user agreement and sharing accounts is not uh, it's not a good practice and you may get you or your friend may get their account banned so it's better just to subscribe but what I can tell you is if you do subscribe with the Lightroom or photography plans or even the all apps plan during the membership period you'll have the option to cancel and Adobe usually offers discounts when you try to cancel it and they'll give you like one or two months discount or a reduced rate for the plans usually it happens with all apps plan but it also but I've seen it happen with the photography plan like I've done it myself uh, when I go without Lightroom or some of the creative cloud apps uh, for a few months then I'll decide to cancel it but then Adobe will offer me a discount or they'll offer me a few months free so you can definitely go that approach to getting Lightroom for free instead of trying to share an account with a friend. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, subscribe and uh, give it a like and uh, follow me on Instagram and we'll see you in the uh, next video.